Hello, everyone. Okay, so we're going to do something different today. Um, I'm going to talk about an open ATC swap that me and my good friend, uh, Paper Confessions with Karamia, Clarissa, are hosting. So I'm going to give you the details about this, okay? First of all, <clears throat> for those that don't know what an ATC is, ATC is basically artist trading cards, okay? So they are done on... Um, Either like you could use like playing cards like this, or you can just simply just take white card stock or even just scrap of paper, cut it down to two and a half by three and a half. Okay. Those are the dimensions for an ATC in order for it to qualify as an ATC. So I went ahead and just took, <laughs> fortunately, I took like, I think 20 pieces or maybe 10 pieces of card stock and then cut them out. So I ended up with, oh my God who knows, 200, 300 uh, cards, so I'll never run out. <clears throat> now, I just recently did a video where I showed um, my process in making ATCs, okay? And I had used playing cards. So I'm going to give you some examples of um, this is what it would look like, okay? They're about the same size. Uh, let's see, yeah. So you can do that. But I will warn you that um, the surface of these playing cards typically is, is like coated. So I had to file down the surface so that way um, the adhesive would, you know, stick to um, when I laid anything down on it. But you're probably better off just doing, you know, card stock like this. Okay, so let me go ahead and give you some of the information about this swap. Okay, so um, this is my very first swap that I'm hosting. Now, and if you want to go ahead and join us, the deadline is going to be on May 10th, okay, um, to sign up. So you'll need to comment below on this video if you want to join. Just let me know that you want to join and I will contact you through YouTube to get your email address. And so what we'll do is we'll match you with somebody else that also wants to join and then um, give you their email and then you guys would um, exchange, you know, address in order to send off a card. OK, so the theme of the swap is going to be a collage style and it's going to be females. All right. So the females could be modern or retro vintage. So I'm going to give you some examples of what that would be. Um, where is one? So here's here's some examples. So modern would be something like this. OK, and then vintage like this vintage re retro. OK like those. Um, you can use like the stickers like I used here. I got these from like, I think I got these from Shein a couple years ago. Um, I know Temu sells them. You know, you don't have to use these. You don't even have to use these are also stickers as well. If you if you're unable to get something like this, you can print them out yourself and use that. Uh, Pinterest is a great place to check for stuff like this. Um, <clears throat> Same thing when it comes to like the vintage stuff. You could even use magazines, you know, cutouts of images of, um, of females, you know, in fashion like this. Uh, another example, and this is one here, where I took an image from Pinterest, printed it out on my thermal printer, and then just laid it down, you know? So there are just like a lot of places where you could get all of your images from. All right, so let's see here. Now, these cards are going to have to be uh, non-dimensional, meaning they've got to be flat, okay? And you can't use anything on them that is going to stick out like this. This one here, I used some Dollar Tree ephemera, okay? And you can see how it's, it's not flat completely. And the reason why we're requesting that everything has to be flat is because that way it's going to be easier for you to mail out the card to your swap partner. And it's not going to get held up because, you know, when these run through the machine, if they're not completely flat, the machine's going to kick it out and that's probably going to delay it getting to your swap partner. Okay. So we do ask that it's going to be flat and, um, you know, you can slip it into a little um, envelope. Um, you don't have to send extras, okay, to your swap partner. Some people like to do that. They like to send ephemera. That's not a requirement. If you and your swap par partner want to do that, then you guys need to talk about that. And that's just between the both of you, okay? Now, um, 
The deadline to join this, like I said, is on May 10th. Okay. So you need to comment below. Um, after May 10th, Kara Mia is going to take all of the names and she'll be the one to contact you and match you with somebody. And then from there, you and your partner are going to go ahead and, you know, coordinate in terms of like getting your addresses and stuff. Kara Mia will let you guys know around May 11th and May 12th who your partner is. So once you make your card, you're going to need to film a video showing the card that you made for your partner. Okay. Save that video. And then um, mail off the card at least by May 24th, okay? That would ensure that your partner will be able to get it before uh, this swap ends because the swap will end on May 31st. So, um, and then the video that you post from what you received from your partner is going to be on May 31st. So, I think I have that backwards. Hold on here because <laughs> I have some notes. Okay. So, Yes. So like I said, when you send off your card, um, film the video, save that. Okay. When you receive the card from your partner, film a video, you're going to post that up on May 31st and you're going to hashtag it, um, ATC swap 2024 and tag me and Karamia on it. And then on June 1st, you will publish the video of the card that you sent to your partner. And in the description, you need to also list your partner's um, name and channel if they have a channel here on YouTube. So um, that way, we're also trying to help people that, you know, haven't reached a thousand subscribers or even 500 subscribers. We're trying to help people, you know, get more subs. Okay. So um, that way, you know, everybody can, get, <laughs> everybody can get more, you know, new people looking at their stuff. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put all of the details in the description box below. Um, and I hope that, you know, you're interested in joining us. So um, if you have any questions, you can also leave that here in the, uh, in the comments. Okay? All right, then. So um, I hope you guys will join. Bye.